my skin ready. Thank you for the like. I'm using some witch hazel. Getting the skin together. I think I'm gonna prime first. I usually prime after shadow, but I'm gonna prime first. I'm gonna, you know, switch it up a little bit. So try to true witch hazel just to, you know, get this skin together. And I'm gonna do my skincare. So the next thing I'm gonna spray is my Peter Thomas Roth Water Drenched Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrating Toner Mist. Hey, Candice. So you don't need to shake it up, but I'm gonna shake mine up. I feel like some full glam today. So we're gonna do a halo eye, you know, full glam. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into my Neutrogena. What is this? Neutrogena Hydro Boost. So I'm just going to prep the skin. Because the shadows I've been using, they don't have any fallout. So I'm just going to prep the skin. Welcome in, everybody. Just doing some skin care before we get into this look. And I'm feeling good. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, what you what you say, Candice? So we're just going to prep the skin and I'm gonna prime and everything. So we so as of now, we did the toner. Well, we did the witch hazel, we toned, moisturized, and now I'm gonna put on my primer. So I'm gonna use the hydro grip from milk. I only use one pump. Good evening, beautiful. How are you? I'm good. Wait a minute, something looks different about you. Oh, I put my contacts in? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. I almost supposed to turn this light on too. I have a light. Oh hey. She's like her eye. Yeah. I put my contacts in today, girl. <laughs> I'm trying to put okay. They go, yeah, I put my contacts in. Sometimes, thank you, Jasmine. Yeah, sometimes I have them in. And sometimes I don't. Yeah, my eyes. I put my contacts in today. Sometimes I remember them. Sometimes I don't. But we're just going to prime. And I'm going to put some cream under my eyes. So we did everything. So this is the Olex. Olex. I always say this wrong. Ole Henriksen. I always like to say Ole. Ole Henriksen. This is the banana bright eye cream so I'm just going to get a little bit and I'm gonna make sure that I hydrate under these tired eyes but yeah I want to do some full glam I'm feeling like some full glam I have some cream products I told you guys I'm gonna be switching up my products that I have on the table today and I did so we got a whole new whole new skin regimen we're gonna move this to the side and I'm going to go into the eyes. I don't have my base as usual. I always forget something. Hold on. <laughs> so I think I'm going to use... I'm going to go into some P. Louise. I got all my bases in here. I don't want it too light. So what is this? This is number four. Let me see what number four is giving me. Okay. Hey, Diana. I'm prepping my food. Watching you. Hey. So yes, so prep, 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 girl, prep, 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 girl. So I'm gonna take, and you know, it's cool. We could just chit chat and talk, do your thing, girl. So I'm gonna take the P. Louise base. This is in the color four. It's not too, too bright, but it's good enough for what I got going on. So I'm just going to blend this out really fast. What, what are, waiting a new hairstyle from you, beautiful. Yes, Cheryl. I know my birthday is next Tuesday. So I'm I'm just I'm just waiting on some things to arrive, but I'm definitely gonna do a birthday hair video. So I'm just waiting on some stuff I ordered. So you know how it is. Hopefully it comes in time so I could just prep my hair and then do the video. But out is coming. I, I I purposely didn't do my hair because my birthday's next Tuesday, so I'm just trying to hold on. Hopefully, it coming time. <laughs> Hopefully, yes, my short hair to go. I know. I'm loving this little mushroom. I got it looked terrible now, but I loved it. It was really super cute. I want to do something different for my birthday. I'm still gonna do short hair shaved sides, but it's not gonna be short hair. 
It's still gonna be short. It's still gonna be shaved sides, but not short hair. I'm gonna do some long hair. I wanna like switch it up. And then after I take that out, I'll go back to doing my little, I wanna do like a nice tapered cut. A taper cut, and I also want to do a nice, um, sleek mushroom style. So, yeah, I'm going to be definitely doing those videos. So, I used my, um, I didn't use my deep wave hair yet from my hairline. I used the 613 from my hairline. I used the loose deep wave from my hairline. I also used the straight hair from my hairline. So, what le what's left is... The deep, um, the deep wave and something else I'm missing because I have five textures on my site. Curly. Okay, so I didn't do the curly and I didn't do the deep wave. So I want to definitely do a style with those next, but I want a sleek style. So maybe I'll just transition into doing something straight and then going into, you know, I'm going to figure it out though. I definitely want to do like a, like a 90s bob, kind, a 90s mushroom cut. Like, you know, Haley Berry inspired. I love that haircut. I'm just putting some more base on. But yeah, I definitely am going to come with some more videos. I'm just waiting to do my birthday hair. And then after my birthday hair, I will resume back to doing short cuts. But my birthday hair is long. So, you know, I'm going to be giving you all some inches with some short side with some shape sides. Okay, so I had enough rambling for now. So I'm just going to put this on here. So the colors I've been trying out, I love them. I love them to death. So, you know, palette coming soon. But I want to do a halo eye today for some reason. What did I drop? I want to do a halo eye today. So we shall, you know, see what we got going on. But I want to do a pink, purple, and burgundy. If I could find the burgundy. A pink and purple halo. Did I drop the burgundy? No, I did not. I'm just looking for my burgundy really fast. Okay, I got it. So I'm going to do a pink, pink, purple, and burgundy. Let me get them lined up. So I'm going to be going into these colors today. I'm going to use the purple as the first color I lay down. And I just got hot all of a sudden. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So I'm going to put the purple down first. And I'm just going to try to get this halo eye done. So this is the purple out of the packaging. I'm just going to be using a regular little tiny brush. And I'm just going to apply it right here. I have a mirror and I'm supposed to be using it. It is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to take this brush. This is a more 506 brush. And I'm just going to go right in here with my halo. And then I'm going to go right here. Now, I'm not good with these kind of halos, so pray for me, but I'm going to try to work it out today just because I want to try something different. Usually when I do my halos, I cut it like I'm doing a cut crease and then I'll fill the colors in, but this way is very hard for me, so I'm going to try to conquer this way today, so hopefully it doesn't look too, too bad. I'm going to zoom you out in a little bit. So I'm just going to go right in the crease. But what is everybody doing? I said, Danielle says she's cooking. She's prepping her stuff. So what is everybody else doing right now? As you can see, I'm here for entertainment. <laughs> so I'm just going to pat this right here. So what is everybody doing today? Yes. You need something? I looked in the cabinet. I thought we had soy sauce. We don't have any? We should. I swear we have some. We should have. So we're just going to do this. I'm going to leave the top open just because. So I'm going to wipe off my brush. Did anyone see anything? Yes. All right. So now I'm going to go in with this burgundy on the outside. So let me show you guys what the burgundy looks like. So this burgundy right here, I'm just gonna go like right around the edges. I want them, I want this these two colors to overlap. I don't want you to see too much of the burgundy, but I want you to see a hint of it. And I have this little tiny mirror, so I'm trying to like really make sure that my head is up and that you guys could see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go right on top of that purple, just so it's peeking out. I don't want it to be too prominent, just like that. 
so with this one i'm just gonna go right on the edge i'm gonna have to go back with that purple just because i want it to be you know more prominent than this burgundy but this is exactly what i want the burgundy to do so i'm gonna take my time i'm not gonna rush no rush with a cut crease and no rush with a halo eye trust me so you want to tap off your your brush and then i'm just gonna go and I'm kind of rounding off the edges. So I'm not going straight. I'm just trying to follow the crease of my eye. And we're just going to tap. So yeah, I'm liking this so far. And then here, we're definitely going to have to go back and fill in that purple. But I'm going to use both colors on the same brush so we're good. So I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna get go back into this purple. And we're just going to plug it back in because we overlapped. So sometimes you knock off your colors. So yeah, I, I wanna work with, I used to work with cream products a lot. Like cream foundation, cream contour, cream everything, cream highlight. So I pulled out some of my creams. So we're gonna do some creams today. Definitely excited. My daughter's imitating me. Stop imitating your mother. Okay, so for the pink color, I'm gonna just go right on the edges, but I feel like I wanna clean it up first. So I'm gonna take a wipe. I'm just gonna take a wipe from the crayon case because I like these wipes. And I'm just going to literally run my finger right in. Just take away the shadow it's not in there I could have swore I bought some I got these. yeah so I mean if you have let me see <laughs> that should be I mean I don't this know what, that's enough. enough yeah so we're just going to clean that I'm gonna make this one a little straighter just right up in here is bothering me okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. I'm well, I'm gonna let this dry first, but I'm gonna go back with some of that purple just right here. Just to make sure that everything is symmetrical. Okay, so I'm gonna take a concealer now. I'm gonna take, I need something pretty light. So I'm gonna go in with you are um are you cooking tomorrow? No, hubby's cooking. Hubby is cooking. This year, I'm chilling. This year, I'm chilling. He in there cooking, y'all. <laughs> okay, so this is the color Soft Tan. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. He in there cooking, girl. I'm chilling this year. It's my year. I'm going to chill out. Okay, so I'm just going to take... I want a tiny, 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 tiny brush. Because I don't want to go too crazy. So I'm going to take a little bit of that concealer. And I'm going to tap it. Get some. Tap off the excess. And I'm just going to tap right in the middle of the two colors. If you cover some purple like I'm doing now, it's okay. Because we're going to go back over anyway. So it's fine. So this is literally how I want my shadow to be. So I'm missing some purple. So I'll go back and like fix that up. But we're gonna tap, and I'm gonna wrap, go right in the center. Right in the center, yes, how big is cooking door now? It's my year to chill out. Okay, so this is what we have. I'm gonna just tighten this up right here. I want this to be really straight. Okay, so now that you see where you want, you wanna fill back in your purple, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill the purple in. Just to make that line straight. And I'm gonna do the same thing right here. And right there. So this is what we have so far. Okay? I wanna use the same brush, but I don't... I'm gonna just wipe it off. So just make sure... I'm just gonna be using all three shadows for this brush. With this brush, sorry. So I'm just gonna really wipe it off because we did the burgundy and then we did the purple. So I don't want any of this pink to get in the way. But I really want a little, like a tight, tight brush. So the next color is this pink right here. And I'm just going to go right up against 
that line, like right up against it. So we're gonna go right here. Just right up against that line. So this is the technique that I always have trouble with, but we're gonna work it out today. It's best to keep your eyes open. So I'm looking down in my mirror. So keep your eyes open so you know where you're laying your shadows, especially when you close and open your eye. You want it to still look the same. You want the colors to still live. So I'm just gonna keep packing it on until I get the color payoff I'm looking for. And we're getting it. I want this line right down the middle to stay bare. I'm gonna add some shimmer in the middle of that. So I'm gonna go and do the same thing. Everybody's cooling, okay. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the next side. Diana is chilling, y'all. This is my year to chill out. And just keep packing it until you get that color payoff you want. And then I'm gonna go into the crease and I'm gonna blend it out with a soft brown, but we're gonna get to that. So you just wanna pat it. Just pat it in. I'm trying to keep my brush straight because I don't want too much overlapping when it comes to the purple, even though I have to go back in and fill it in anyway. I don't want too much. Okay, so this is what we have. I'm gonna darken this up a little bit. So just keep going back in. Thank you for the likes, guys. I'm just gonna keep packing it. Okay, so makeup is work. It's definitely work in progress, but it's coming out. I'm gonna tap back into this purple, but it's coming out the way I want it to. I'm just going back into that purple and reinforcing it. Cause the purple and the pink will definitely blend. So we're just gonna go back in and just reinforce that purple. Right up in here. Okay, so now that I have that and this is what we got going on, I'm gonna go in the crease. I wanna go in with like a soft, not too dark of a brown. So I'm gonna look at all my browns that I have. I'm gonna go with my mid-tone brown. So this is it right here. So this is my mid-tone brown. I'm just gonna take a fluffy, small brush. I just had it. Is this the one I wanna use? Just to make sure, yes. So I'm gonna go in with a small, kind of small brush, not too big. And I'm just going to tap in. Let me get my mirror. I'm gonna tap in and then I'm going to place the color first, just right in the crease. And then I'm gonna blend, but I wanna tap it in first. And I didn't set under my brow bone. So I feel like I'm gonna go in with my face color, with my face powder. <laughs> So we're gonna blend it out. So you're gonna have that soft blend. So you really don't want to know where the shadow ends and begins. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of, well, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that burgundy just because it's coming into contact with that soft brown, which is fine, but I don't want the burgundy to be lost. So I'm just going to blend. Now I'm gonna go back in with the burgundy just to make sure that it's still there and right in the center, like not in the center, right in the corner too. I just wanted to do some color today, just because, you know, let's have some look, a little bit of fun. I'm gonna do some <laughs> fall, more fall colors, but I just wanted some color today. So I'm just gonna blend, no, I'm gonna place. I'm gonna place the shadow first, and then I'm gonna blend it out. And then we're gonna go back in with that burgundy. Oops, I'm dropping the brush. We're gonna go back in with that burgundy. And we're just going to place her back where she was. Okay, now we're gonna wipe off this brush that we used that mid-tone brown with. And I'm gonna take my face powder. This is in the color NC55 from MAC. It's a Studio Fix powder. So I'm just gonna use this under my brows just to make sure that it is set under my brow bone and it's not too, too dark. This actually turned out really, really pretty. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab the powder, we're gonna pat it in, and then we're gonna blend. Knocking my brow out of place. Yeah, this is super duper pretty. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some glitter. I'm gonna get this shimmery glitter to go down the center. It's so white, there we go. It's like a white shimmery kind of color. There we go. So I'm just going to take some glue. So I'm using Duo Lash Glue. And I'm gonna go, no, you know what? I'm gonna do my wing first. I'm gonna do my wing first because I don't want any glitter in my wing. So we're gonna do the wing and then we're gonna go in with the glitter. So, you know, I'm going to create my wing. Cannot wait to get this wing on. I'm gonna touch up this burgundy really fast. I'm a perfectionist and I need a little more burgundy just right up in there and just right up in there. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do my wing. That one's gonna be longer. This wing's gonna be longer, so I have to make this one longer. Okay. Now I'm gonna fill it in, you know the drill, so we're gonna fill this all the way in. So I have conquered my fears, so deep, so you, so you do, so you get a break, yep. After forever, yes. <laughs> I'm grateful for it. I get to chill out. So I'm going to Fill my wing in. Yeah, I'm chilling out this year. I'm excited. Plus, I'm gonna be going live for my birthday. So I'm gonna be going live every day next week. I'm gonna be going live. I will be going live every week next week, six o'clock every day, Eastern. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna post all of the palettes that I'll be using. So if anyone wants to follow along with the makeup look, you can, because I'm going to post it. So I'm going to just let this dry really fast. So the, the eyeshadow didn't take too long, did it? 24 minutes. Diana, my sister told me to ask you where are you still... Wait, 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 wait. My Diana, my sister told me to ask you where are you start... Now I'm starting your own t-shirt line. Um... I don't want to do, I want to do merch, but I don't think I want to do t-shirts as of yet. Since I do hair, I want to do something more affiliated with hair first. And then I could branch off into doing that. That's dope to have the matching shirt. And then, you know, like, you know, your hair accessories. So that sounds cool. I want to say maybe next year. That'll be dope. I have to find somebody who could do my shirts. I want to do it like. Oh, your eye color is bomb. Where you get them from? So, oh, I love, I love, I know, I love your name. Beautiful contradiction. Um, I have a palette dropping soon. My palette should be dropping next year, tax time. So these are all sample shadows that I'm working with, and I am in love. They blend so well. So my palette will be coming next year around tax time so these are all my shadows so i'm yeah but your girl been working your girl been working i'm working on some things girl so yeah i want the palette to drop next year because i love shadows you know so i'm excited okay so now that we have that but it's still not dry i'm just gonna take some concealer and I'm going to, but that's a dope idea to do t-shirts. That'll be real cute. Like to go with everything else. That'll be dope. Tell her thank you. Tell her thank you for that. Because I didn't think that that was even, I don't, I didn't think that that would be possible to, for someone to want like a t-shirt, you know, like that's affiliated with me. So tell her thank you for that idea. Definitely coming in the works. Really? I love that. I'll be ordering. Thank you. Yeah. So these are beautiful but yeah i want to you know take steps i want to take baby steps and stuff like that um my site my site will be relaunching with new merchandise 
I wanted to launch it for my birthday, but with the way shipping is and with like, you know, with the pandemic and stuff, production is very slow. So I would say go to my website and sign up for my newsletter because as soon as all the other items drop, you'll know first. But I've been working on my site all week. I did all my photos, did my own photo shoot of the new products that are coming. I'm exhausted. I literally just finished the last items. Thank you, beautiful, yes. So my, the last items I just added to my site that I currently have. So I've been working on this site since Monday. And I'm finally done with the product I have in now. So I'm trying to launch within the next two weeks, relaunch my site with like everything that's me. So I'm working, girl. <laughs> it, it's a lot of work. And I take my hat off to small black owned businesses because it's not easy, but it's definitely worth it in the long run. But yes, I'm gonna come out with my own palette. I'm excited about that. So now that that is dry and I'm rambling, I'm going to take this black, blah, blah, this pressed glitter. It's so like, it's so pretty. I, I don't think, let me see if I can show you guys. So this is how it looks. It's like an iridescent kind of pressed glitter. I like pressed glitters. I don't know. I love glitter, but I hate glitter that gets all over. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't be bothered. So, yeah. Glitter that gets all over is just too much work. I have glitter, like, on me for days after I take it off. I don't want that. So, I'm going to close up all my shadows. So, I'm going to go in with some lash glue. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys could see exactly where I'm placing it. Let me use my little mirror. So I'm just gonna take it right here. And I got a chunk of glitter, which is okay. I'm just going to take a brush and I'm gonna remove that. I don't need all this glitter, this glue right here. That, that's kind of crazy. So I'm just going to take it and I'm gonna spread it. And I'm going to take the same brush, maybe. Yeah, and I'm just going to pop it right here. Just pop it. So pretty. I don't want too much glitter. I want all the colors to do its thing and to show. So I'm just going to go right there. I think I went too close so we're gonna move that so this is what the glitter looks like and then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side so I'm ecstatic with a lot with everything it's a lot of work but I'm I'm grateful that I was given the vision so I'm just gonna be silently working until everything drops Just going to push this in. Okay, so this is what we have. So cute. I love this. Just something soft and nothing too over the top, you know. Nothing too too over the top. Okay. <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> so you know, nothing too over the top, meaning it's it's still doable you know it's november about to be thanksgiving it's still doable i just loves me i just loves me some color i love neutral too they're you know neutral's coming back but today i just want it to be a little extra so you know i have this foundation this lancome i don't even know if this is my shade anymore but we shall see so this is the Lancome, because I already primed and everything, my skin is ready. I'm going to start doing that so that my primer and my moisturizer and everything could get, you know, a chance to do its job. So this is the Lancome Tin Edo Ultra Wear, and this is in the color 470 Suede. I used to use this a long time ago. It was just laying around. So I want to see what it's going to do for me. So let me take, put some on the back of my hand, and I'm going to... It's a little dark. So all that foundation is a little dark, but what I'm gonna do is 
mix her because she's here. So we gonna mix her. So I'm gonna take, this is the 332 Golden Caramel. This is way too light for me from Maybelline Superstay. So I'm gonna mix the two and I'm gonna see what it's gonna give me. If it's gonna give me like yes, no. So I'm just gonna mix that on the back of my hand. And I'm going to, this is how I like to apply my foundation. If I had time to just sit here and like be on live for five hours, I would so just sit here and just paint my foundation on like this and then blend it out. This is how, what I love. To, I love to apply my foundation like this. So I'm just going to take my brush. So this is not bad. So I like the two together. So I'm just going to pat this in. I've been working on my skin because I will like sit there and just mess with my face and watch TV, which is not good. So just stop, like, don't be like me. You know, don't mess with your face. Just like, you know, do your exfoliating. Try to, you know, not get any breakouts. Drink a lot of water. I try to, I'm trying to drink more water this year. Well, the end of the year, I'm trying to drink more water. So yeah, I'm liking this coverage. I have, this is my problem area right there. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second just so it can get like, a, it can dry down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go back over, but like right on top of my cheeks, on my problem area, which is so annoying. But I'm excited cause I'm gonna be working with some cream products today that were collecting dust, literally collecting dust on my vanity. And I still need to film my makeup video. Maybe I'll do that Saturday. I think I want to come, I don't know, maybe, should I come back live Friday at 6? I like 6 o'clock. I feel like it's not too late. It's not too early. So maybe Black Friday. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to be doing too much on Black Friday. So maybe I come back live. I shall post it in my community center. If I do, Cheryl will say, yes, yeah, I ain't doing nothing, girl. I've been literally like just trying to do stuff for my site. So I have not really even been buying makeup or like I'm a sneakerhead. I love sneakers. I'm addicted to sneakers. I have not. I just been focusing on my site and my brand. And I hope everybody loves the new items that I added to my site. I have not relaunched it, but I will definitely relaunch it within the next two to three weeks. I really did want to launch my, my site on my birthday, but it didn't work out that way. Shipping and everything, but... Hopefully before Christmas, I want to re, um, relaunch my site. That'll be dope. But yes, I'll probably come back live Friday at 6 o'clock. And then remember, guys, I'm going to be live all next week at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my birthday. My birthday is Tuesday. So I'm going to be live for the whole week. So I'm really going to have to plan some looks in my head. But, yeah. Okay, so now that we have the foundation on and we're even enough. <laughs> even enough. Okay, and I need a haircut so bad. But anyway, so I'm going to go in. These are my... Okay, so I love Makeup Revolution. Affordable. You know, you, you can just get your color. If you can't, you can get a few of them. You can mix and match it. I got to buy lighter foundation. My summer tan is gone already. I've been using a product called um, Dermalogica. I love them. Helps with hyperpigmentation and acne. Try it out if you're interested. Got it. I've been doing, um, what is it called? Rose hip oil. Rose hip oil. And I've been using niacin. So I'll do the niacin, which is like a serum, but it's for acne. And then I'll leave it on for 10 minutes and then I'll take that off and then I'll moisturize with the rosehip oil. And that's really been taking away the marks. But I'm definitely going to look into Dermalogica because I need all these marks to be like gone. I need them gone. I need them gone. I need them out of here. They were really darker. I want to say like two, three weeks ago. So it's been working, but I'm definitely going to check that out. So this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fix. This is in the color Dark Sand. This is maybe my skin tone. I'm not too sure. Let me, nope, no, nope, it's just way too light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this under my eyes because I want a full coverage look today. 
So, and it's a cream product, so I'm just gonna take it on a synthetic brush and I'm going to apply this first. I'ma let my skin, my, my, the warmth of my skin warm it up. So I'm gonna just take it and drag it down. I don't want it too close to under my eyes cause I'ma blend it up. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So yeah, I've been having these concealers for a while. I've had these concealers I've been having. I've had this concealer for a while. I have them in a few shades because Makeup Revolution's always having a sale on Ulta. And I saw these and I decided to pick them up. So I'm gonna try them out today. So I'm just gonna go and I'm going to try to just, you know, blend these out. Creams are very tricky to blend out. I'm gonna tell you right now, especially under the eyes. So I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna pat it on. And I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it sit and warm up on my skin. Then I'm gonna put a liquid on top and then we're gonna blend it out. We're going full coverage today, full coverage. This is what we doing, where's my, con where's my contour stick? Okay, so we're going full coverage. So another full coverage product is Black Opal. This is in Suede Mocha. Suede Mocha is the only shade I contour with, so I had to remember. Um, does that only work on your face or can you use it on other parts of your body? It should be a, it sh you probably can use it on other parts of your body. So this is the contour. So this is Suede Mocha. So I'm going to take the same brush that I just highlighted with and I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose, just on the sides. And we're going full coverage because I feel like a full coverage day Usually I don't go full coverage. Well, you know, this is full to me because cream, cream is way more stronger than a liquid as far as the um, thickness and heaviness of it. So that's what we gonna do. And I'm gonna go around my forehead. So yeah, we going full coverage because you know I never do this. Well, not on a live, but we gonna do it. We, we got it. Oh, and I need to contour this here chin, baby. <laughs> so I'm gonna I play too much. Okay, so I'm going to blend out my jawline first. So I didn't go all the way down here. So I'm just going to pull the product. This is my MAC days. MAC days, I used to be full glam every day. Cut, crease, glitter. 25 milliliter lashes, like... I miss those days. I miss those days, but then I don't miss those days, you know? So I'm just gonna go over with my foundation brush and I'm just going to blend everything down. And I wanna create, let me sit up, cause you know I'm, your girl is short. So <laughs> I'm gonna create a shadow. So that's all I'm doing really, is just creating a shadow. Just so that, you know, you can cut off that chin. Okay, so this is what we have. I'm excited. I love me a full glam. So I'm gonna take this concealer. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna drag it up. Yeah, but you can have bells more. Okay, all over your body, got it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull it up. We're gonna pull it up. We're gonna be, we're gonna be contoured today. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm going to pat it in. So I want that shadow, but I don't want too much of a shadow. We're gonna worry about the forehead in a second. We're gonna go over here. I'm gonna flick it. And wherever the brush stops, which is right here, I'm not gonna go past right here. And then we're gonna pull up. Pull up, pull up. Oh, you gonna look? Okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna pull it up and I kind of leave it like this because I know that this guy is gonna clean it up. So we're just gonna do that. So you have the contour, but it's not too dark. Okay, so I'm gonna bring back old school Diana, which hmm, bead, I use bead, good every day. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do circular motions. 
even though you're not gonna really see my forehead like that, we're gonna do circular motions. You just brought brought me back. Um, what you just just thought me from there? I can't contour to save my life. Okay, well listen, this is a contouring lesson, girl. I used to contour a lot when I used to work. Let me tell you something. Mac would have you. Mac would just just let you do whatever you want. Like I said, I used to have blue, green, yellow, pink, orange here. I just taught you, girl, this is what I do. I'm happy that I can show you something. I'm, I'm excited for that. And I'm happy that you're enjoying the live. But Mac will be like, you can do whatever you want. Diana, your makeup is better than Mary Kay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend it. Mary Kay, you know I've never used her stuff, but she's still around. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm taking it and I'm doing circular motions right and i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom in i oh i'm a little too zoomed in i cut my forehead off which is fine because i'm gonna show you how to create a smaller face so that's what i'm doing so right now you're creating a shadow so you're just gonna go around and you're creating a shadow so what we're gonna do is the, the brush that we use the concealer on you're going to take this concealer and you're gonna draw a little tree. Well, not a tree, but like a star, right? And you're gonna pull it up. So I would rather contour and then highlight because they're gonna the contour will always blend into the highlight. I feel like if you highlight after you contour, you, if you contour after you highlight, I don't like it. Contour first, then highlight. Cause you wanna bring light into the face. You wanna slim the face and then create that shape, if that makes any sense. So this is what we have. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just going to push. And I'm gonna flick up a little bit, but not too much. Just like, you know, push up. But you, you wanna push that product in so that you see you have a contour and then you have the highlight right here, but it doesn't look like mother and father. It's family, if that makes any sense. So you're just going to Push the highlight in and if you felt like you did but I did not if you felt like you went too high with your highlight you can go back in but I'm gonna zoom back out you can see that my forehead has like this halo not halo effect but you can see yes teach me okay Jeremy. I'm here to teach so I'm gonna be extra I'm gonna go back just cuz I'm extra because I want a little bit more highlight. Like I said, I have a bang. So I, you ain't even going to see all this work. But it's okay. So you're just going to press it in. I love to blend with my foundation brush. Because this has product in it that will help you blend. It's dry to the touch. But there's still product on the bristles. So once you reactivate it with like your concealer or your contour. It's going to blend it out. So your foundation brush is actually a good friend to have because if you make any mistakes or you feel like you need a little more blending, just grab your foundation brush. You'll see me use this all the time to blend out my contour and I'm using it to blend out my highlight. And then not getting muddy, my highlight is not mixing with the contour like because the foundation acts as a buffer. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so now that we have that and this has been sitting, hopefully it will blend. I'm going to go in with, this is C10.5. I want to have bright highlight because I'm extra today. So I'm going to go over it right on top of that cream because I want it to be extra. You can go in with cream alone or liquid alone and that's fine. But you know your girl is extra. So I'm going to take this down the bridge of my nose because I didn't highlight yet. So we're just going to take it here. And I'm going to also, hey, Samara, I'm going to highlight my chin. I'm going to go in and buff my chin out first. Why? I don't want my chin to be too prominent. So I'm going to blend this out first with my foundation brush. If you feel like there's too much product, like I feel like it is, I'm going to wipe off my foundation brush. But this is, thank you. Hey, no girl. Thank you. But this is your best friend, your foundation brush. You just want to blend. Blend, 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 blend. Yes, I see the difference. I use stippling brush for foundation than beauty blender. Um, I, I only use a beauty blender dry to apply my powder, which is the next step because I'm going to be 
pressing and then baking but i feel like if your your beauty blender sucks up too much product so for me i would rather blend with a brush and then set with a sponge that's dry but tomato tomato it's fine as long as it's flawless we good to go but um i don't really grab for a beauty blender because i like a full coverage effect so we do the full coverage so I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just going to start to, you know, nope, I'm lying. I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm going to go right up against my wing. Okay, does it dry? Um, okay, does just does dry up the look? Um, the beauty blender, the beauty blender to me takes away product. I like a full coverage effect. So I'm going to use brushes as opposed to a beauty blender. Like if I was doing a natural look and I didn't need too much product on my face, then I would use a beauty blender wet. But to me, I don't know. Beauty blenders, it doesn't really work with the full coverage look because it's going to take away product. It'll give you a natural look. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to blend the two. I'm really trying to get right up against this wing. Right up again, so we're gonna drag it because you know me and this wing, I don't want anything to mess with it. And I'm also gonna take this brush and I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna tap this concealer in, and we're gonna start to blend out this concealer. So we're doing a full coverage look today. So if I wanted to, I could definitely use my beauty blender dry to blend this out. But since I have a cream under, I'm gonna go with the brush. But I can if I wanted to, to you know, to use this. But we don't really. Work. So, no, a matter of fact, I'm gonna do this side with the beauty blender dry to show you, and I'm gonna do this side with the sponge. I mean, with the brush. So we're just gonna blend. So I'm just tapping in. Tap, tap, tap. Let me use my mirror. So we're just gonna tap in. Thank you. Anytime, girl. I'm here to show you guys. So, yeah. I mean, I'm self-taught. So, everything that I'm telling you, I've tested and I've tried it. So, trust me. Like, I, I get it. A beauty blender is cool, but it takes too much product away from me. And I'm just like, mm-mm. Okay. So, we're going to do full coverage. We're doing full coverage. So, I'm just going to blend it in. And I'm just working my way down. I'm going to take my contour brush and I'm just going to make sure that the edges are blended into the contour. Then I'm going to take my foundation brush. I'm always going to end up last with this because this helps me blend everything out. So I'm just going to lightly tap between the contour and the highlight just to blend everything. And so you see not, high, not blended, blended. So we're just going to blend. I don't want anything to be too confusing because, like I said, I'm self-taught and I don't have time for all of that extra stuff. So I'm just going to go in and just tap. Okay, so this is my highlight. I want it super, super bright. We're going to blend the edges out right here. I'm going to take my foundation brush. And we're going to blend. You're just going to be careful. You can look up if you want. You don't want to like poke yourself in the eye. But you're also blending out that contour. Remember, we contoured around the nose. I just blended out the contour for myself. So I really don't have to do too much work. So we're just going to blend. So the next side I'm going to do with the dry beauty blender. Just to show you. So this is my this is me blended. So I use two brushes. I use three, excuse me. I use my contour brush just to touch up, you know, around. So there's no line of demarcation. I also use my highlighting brush for under the eyes. And then lastly, I buff between the contour and the highlight with my foundation brush and around the sides of my nose so I don't even need to touch there. So now I'm going to take, this is a brush from the crayon case, I'm brush. This is a sponge from the crayon case. It is dry. She's dry. This is cream on the bottom and then I put liquid on top. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. With this, you're going to, you don't even, you're not going to lift it off. Let me take my hand. So with the dry beauty blender, you're going to go like this. You don't want to go like that. You're going to go. Just keep it really tight. Really tight. Really tight. Really tight. So 
it's gonna blend. So we're just gonna blend it in. Let me use my mirror. Let me use my mirror so y'all can see. We're just gonna blend it in. And we're gonna blend here. This is, I love a dry beauty blender, I'm sorry. I don't really like them wet, which is fine. If you do, it's fine. But I'm gonna show you, you're gonna get more of a full coverage look, but it's still gonna help you out. So you're gonna blend it up. See? You can't tell which side is which. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go right up in my inner corner right here. Cause I don't have a lot of concealer there, so we're gonna place some and then we're gonna blend it out. So when you're blending your inner corner, look this way. And when you're blending here, when you're blending here, look this way. And when you're blending here, look to your left. So blend out right, look to the left. Blend out left, look to the right, okay? And I'm just gonna zoom y'all in. So you can't really tell me which side is which because this is the brush. And then this side is the beauty blender. I actually love the beauty blender dry because it just does its job. Uh, um, uh, got you, it does look similar. Yeah, you can't, you can't really tell me Diana, this side is a sponge, this side is not a sponge. I love that brush, thank you. Yes. So, yeah. This is one of the brushes that will be in my brush set as well. I love this brush. I use this brush to um, apply my base and I also use it to blend out my concealer. I love this brush. That's my buffing brush. So that will be my buffing brush. And this is my contour brush. So all of these brushes that I've been showing you guys are from my line, my brush set that's coming. I'm trying to get everything done by the end of the year. Everything in stock, I should say. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm gonna go old school. This is my favorite, my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm gonna take it on my tissue. I'm going to use the same um, sponge that I use to set, the same sponge I use to blend out my concealer, I'm gonna to use to set under my eyes. So I'm gonna take my buffing brush and I'm gonna look up, cause you don't want any creasing. Remember we use cream and liquid. So under your eyes may have a little bit more product than you're used to, which is fine, but I want a full coverage look. So we're gonna look up and we're going to push it in. Okay? And it's so simple. So I'm gonna zoom in so y'all could see it's set. So not set, set. You know, so we're gonna go in and we're just gonna contour and we're gonna like add highlight so everything will come together. But I'm just gonna repeat the same thing. So I'm just going to push this in. I try not to look down just because <laughs> I try not to. My skin is yellow. Is it, it um isn't good for me. Um the Ben Night Banana Powder, yes. Cause it goes on translucent. Cause if your skin tone is yellow, that means you have yellow undertones. And your concealer under your eyes should be yellow as well, a yellow tone. So the powder is actually fine to use if your skin tone is yellow. So I'm gonna look up. Or if you don't think so, you can always use translucent. Translucent has no color. So I'm just gonna push this in. So where's my powder? So if you feel like you can't use um, Ben Nye, the banana, this is the banana and this is the translucent. This goes for all skin tones. So if you feel like the powder is too yellow, which it shouldn't be for you, Use the translucent and you'll probably get like a better finish from it. So now I'm going to bake because I already set. So I'm gonna look up and I'm just going to bake. 
Baking is when you leave powder on top of your skin to absorb. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Right, and then remember we did the chin, so we're gonna bake the chin too. I still didn't contour, or well I contoured my nose, I didn't highlight, I didn't blend out my highlight. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna take my same buffing brush and I'm gonna take it on the side and I'm, I have a mirror, Diana, use your mirror. So I'm just gonna take the side of my brush and I'm going to blend it up until it goes away. So we're gonna start from the bottom and work your way up. I have a reddish undertone, which should I use? I don't like using the Airspun. Airspun is not good. No, no, especially, okay, so as far as um, setting powders, you could use, oh, what is it? It's not nutmeg. Let me look it up. I'm going to look it up right now because I have it, but I don't know the name of it. Let me see. Let me look it up for you because I'm just a bad person. Benai powder. Benai powder. Benai, not banana powder. Okay, we're gonna do Benai. I believe it is, let's go to Camera Ready Cosmetics. Let me look it up for you. I don't remember the name, that's the thing. Let me see, you can use, what color is that? Topaz will be pretty, Topaz. Cause if you have a reddish undertone, it'll be cute if you use like a, yellowish kind of um contour color which like something similar to this it has like a, it's like a neutral kind of color this is in the color neutral tan and this is good so you would put this under and it'll give you like a neutral kind of highlight where it wouldn't be too bright and it wouldn't be too dark and then you use a little bit of topaz Topaz will be perfect if you want a popping highlight. You see how you can see my highlight and then you see like my um, my face color and my contour? That would give you the same effect if you use Topaz with a neutral, a neutral yellow undertone concealer. So you don't want a concealer that, let me show you the difference. So you don't want a concealer that looks this yellow. You can see that it's yellow on camera. You want something neutral in the middle, which is this one. And then... I just had her okay so this is perfect so this will be perfect for like new girl because she has a yellow undertone so this will be good for her for you if you want a popping highlight for me like me you would use something that's kind of in the middle neutral and then say you were like deep dark chocolate this will be pretty under your eyes because it'll give you a pop and it wouldn't be too light so topaz will be a good ben Nye, banana pop, um, ben Nye powder. Topaz will be good for you. But I feel like you wouldn't go wrong with topaz because it's not going to be too light for you. You, It will be perfect. No, I'm good, thank you. It's too late. And then Sienna will be pretty. Sienna will give you like a mid-tone color like this. So Sienna literally looks like this. So you could do Sienna or you could do Topaz. Topaz will be really pretty though because it'll give you that light neutral pop. Ooh, look at me rambling. <laughs> yes. She said, you feel me? Because I can't match anything. Yes. So try Sienna or try Topaz. Oh, they show you like, let me take you guys off. So let me, can I flip y'all? I don't think, yes, I can. Okay. So this is Ben Nye powder right here. So it's showing you the colors. So let me go here. Perfect. This is, hey girl, I'm so late, but I love the eye the color. Thank you, Tamia. Okay, so you could do Sienna. Definitely you could do Sienna. Chestnut will be maybe like your face color. You can do Coco Tan. And ebony will be too, too dark. So try Sienna or Topaz. Let me go to the other. So this is Camera Ready Cosmetics. So let me show you the other color I was telling you about. This is Topaz. 
So, yeah, so Topaz, see, she has like a neutrally yellow skin tone. I mean, undertone, this will be perfect for you. And let me go to the other picture. So basically, okay, so they show you more colors here. So if you do Topaz will be cute for you. I don't, I don't, I don't want caramel for you, but try Topaz. Topaz will be pretty. And it's a nice neutral kind of color. It's not gonna be too bright. So yeah. <laughs> I took you guys off the tripod, man. Okay. Okay. So so try it. Okay, that's a good example. Thank you so much. Yeah, I see the topaz as is dope. Yes, and it will give you a highlight even if you don't even use concealer. Like you can get like these powders, the Ben Night Panel, the Ben Night powders. If I didn't highlight and I just did foundation, I could still bake with this and it's gonna give me a natural glow. That's why I love these powders. They don't alter your highlight. They add to it or they can give you one when you didn't like literally highlight. So I'm going to contour my nose and stuff in a second. But I'm going to bake right here because I like to cut my cheek because we going full glam. I have not went full glam in a while and I'm in a good mood, y'all. So yeah. So see my powder. Let me. Why y'all so high? Okay. So you see my powder. It's starting to go in. You see this powder, it's, it's already like into my skin because it's set. So the next step is to knock it off, but I'll do that in a second. Remember we highlighted here. Let me zoom y'all out a little bit, okay. Remember we highlighted here. So we're gonna highlight. And then we're gonna go down the bridge of the nose. Okay, don't worry about all that because I'm a contour and we're gonna fix it. <laughs> okay now with me i'm like I, I got around my mouth is a problem area because i smile a lot so i'm just gonna before i set around my mouth i'm gonna go in with this concealer um i think it's my skin tone we shall see i'm just going to take it and i'm gonna test okay so this is the makeup revolution conceal and fix this is in the color honey the same concealer I use under my eyes, just a different shade. Um, I could show y'all in a second. Um, so these are the one, this is the one from under my eyes. And this is in, oh, I'm dropping everything, sorry. This is in dark sand. Yeah, dark sand. And now I'm using honey. So honey is more close to my skin tone. I always have an issue right here. So I'm gonna go right here before I set it. Uh oh, it's just always like around here, it's so annoying. So I'm just gonna use this and I'm going to hopefully continue to use this because I need to cover it up. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you, I always like Photoshop around my mouth cause it's always so dark. Even though I do foundation, it just seeps through. So, and I don't like to color correct too much so yeah i don't like to color correct um i just feel like it's an a, a extra step i don't want to be bothered with so i don't do it but you can if you want to so i'm just going to take my foundation brush and i'm just going to set around my mouth just because how's everybody doing this i keep saying i want to say friday it feels like a friday to me right what is every anybody cooking what are y'all doing today Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, hopefully it stays. I'm going to bake around my mouth because I want this to stay. So I'm going to take my Ben Nye Neutral Set. This is the same powder I just showed you guys online and the one that I use under my eyes. It's just in a different color, so banana and neutral. Neutral goes for any skin tone. Just be careful if you're if you're um of a darker skin tone, be careful using this because you may get some flashback. I say may because if you use it to set your foundation and then go over it with your face powder, you'll be fine. But if you just use this alone to set, you may or may not get flashback. So just a little warning. So I'm just going to take my sponge prepping dressing chopping celery onions and watching you all right billy billy jackson what state are you in 
So I'm just going to take some of this neutral set. Can any can everybody comment their state? Because I'm in New York, as you know. Look, look. I look like Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm going to look like Santa Claus for a second. Sorry, guys. Dallas, Texas. How's the weather? Right, Billy? It's going to rain here tomorrow in New York, so. Hi, um, hi, are you today, my love? Hi, Michelin. I am well. How are you, lovely? How's everything? See how I'm smiling? I'm like, hey, Michelin girl. I look like I've been eating powdered donuts, but it's okay. Hopefully, this works. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of all the shopping around my mouth. Okay. So now what we're going to do. Now what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to contour. No, we're not going to contour. I'm jumping the gun. I'm going to take my same powder that I just closed up. I'm going to take New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay. Okay. What are you cooking? Are you cooking seafood and stuff? Like what's your meal consist of? So I'm gonna take some of that and I'm gonna set where I didn't. Remember I set here, here, and here, but my contour is not set. So before we go in and contour with powder and stuff like that, we're going to just make sure that the face is set. So I'm gonna take this Ben Nye. I like Ben Nye because it's not heavy. It doesn't give you too much flashback. If you use it right, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean when I say use it right. So we're just gonna make sure that all the places that you didn't set are set. Remember, we do the touch test, okay? I'm gonna go around my nose because remember, we, you know, we contoured, we didn't say it, okay? Jersey, okay, Tamika, my neighbor. <laughs> okay, Jersey. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna knock this off. Candace is laughing. <laughs> Candace, you, you just like me, you laugh at everything. Okay, so we just gonna blend that out, okay? So everywhere is set. Rep Dom. Okay. Repu okay. Republic. Is that Republic of Dominica? Or Dominican Republic? Ooh. How is the weather, girl? Okay, so my whole face is set, right? And we use the Ben Nye. Um, I'm in Miami. Not really sure if we're doing anything, but I got a boneless turkey in case. Stay home from work. Okay. Danielle, I know, seafood stuffed peppers, baked macaroni, ham, potato salad, and dirty rice. Okay, I'm, I, I, I can't even book a flight. I can't even book a flight. Okay, you, UPS me a plate. UPS me a plate. Okay, so now that we set with the Ben Nye powders, I'm going to tell you how to avoid flashback if you do get it. Because sometimes you may, sometimes you will not. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all over my face with my face powder. So this is dark in um, Max Mineralized Skin Finish. Mineral she said, oh my God, damn, dirty rice. Is Let me tell you, she had me at the seafood. <laughs> okay, so this is my face powder. It's, mineralized powder is very light. You don't have to get MAC mineralized powder, but anytime you see mineralized, remember that it's a very soft powder. It's not gonna give you a cakey look. It's not gonna give you an extra look. It's just gonna top you off because I'm already full coverage. I'm already contoured. I'm already highlighted. I'm already set. I just wanna make sure that I don't have any flashback. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this powder and I'm just going to push it all over. Just push it all over. Over the highlight, over the contour just to make sure that you got all of that baking powder off and all of that um ben Nye neutral set you want it all the way off and that's it because remember your face is set so you don't have to go in with a whole bunch of extra powders okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my black radiance i love this i told you i'm gonna switch up my products and she did so this is the medium to dark contour this is really really good I've done my whole eyes with this. I've contoured, like, you know, do the crease color. I did the, um, excuse me. <clears throat> I did the crease color, the lid color, and then I also highlighted with this all over my eyes. Or sometimes I'll put it in the inner corner. Maybe I'll do that today. Who knows? But I'm going to mix the two of them. 
and I'm gonna contour. So I'm just get a little bit, a little bit, just go back and forth, tap it in. So this this has a lot of kickback. Can you guys see all of that kickback? Good this it's a good product, it's a good palette. It just has too much kickback for me, but I'm gonna pat it in, as you can see, and then I'm going to go around my hairline. And you're gonna really see that my highlight is going to pop out even more. Can you see that my forehead, all of this is like highlighted? Okay, perfect. So we're gonna do that and then we're just going to blend. I like to push my highlight up. I didn't. I don't have a highlighting powder, but I, I shall get one. So I'm just gonna push it up. So I'm using an angle brush and we're just going to feather it up and around. So we're just gonna get a little bit more, go back and forth with both. Make sure you tap it off because it's just too much kickback. And we're just going to pat it into place. And we're gonna push it up, just feather it up. Around here, you can, you know, do your little circular motions like we did when we were highlighting and contouring. But on your cheeks, you just wanna push the product up. You don't want anything down here. So we're gonna do that. Maybe I'll use some blush today, cause we need to be extra. Oh, and remember we contour down up in here. So you're just gonna take a little bit of that powder and you're just going to contour under here just to make sure it's set and it looks cohesive with the face. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm gonna contour my nose. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go into the lighter color right here. It has too much fallout. I don't want it to go all over the place. But I'm gonna go in with the medium brown color and I'm just going to contour my nose. You don't wanna use that darker color on your nose just because you do not want a dark contour on your nose. It's, that's not the business. And you know, if you watch any of my videos, I take my contour into my crease. So I'm gonna blend down my nose and then I'm gonna add whatever is left in my crease. And it's not gonna disturb the shadow or anything. It's just pulling everything in together. So we're gonna go to the same, the other side and do the same thing. Right, we have a contoured nose. Just want to make sure you buff this out right here. You don't want a harsh line. You're going to buff these in. Okay. And you can take your powder brush and just make sure that you don't have a harsh nose contour. So you just blend it down. Or if you want to do circular motions, you can. But I just normally blend it down. And this is the contour. And then the highlight. So it's not too crazy. Okay, so the next step is to spray the face because we're gonna highlight and we're gonna put some blush on. So I'm gonna take my Fix Plus. I have another spray and I forgot it and I said I was gonna grab it. I will have it for the next live. <laughs> but I'm gonna spray this. Just to get everything melted in and I'm gonna grab a highlight. I think I should have a highlight. Oh, yes. yes, I'm gonna grab a highlight. I think I'm gonna do the white gold highlight. Why not? I hope you said the right one. So this is the highlight. And I'm gonna prep my lashes at the same time. Okay, so my lashes are here. So <laughs> we're gonna prep them and then we're gonna highlight because my face is still kind of wet. I don't know what lip I should do. Should I do a nude lip? Should I do a burgundy lip? Nude lip, a burgundy lip, or a chocolate brown lip combo? I don't know what you guys think because I have zero idea. I don't know. Burgundy would be cute. And, uh, yeah, so burgundy, a nude, or like some type of chocolatey combo, yeah. That'll be cool. I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do, but what you guys think I should do? I'm just getting these glued together. I'm just going to pop my lashes on once this glue is ready. I feel like my face is dry, so we're going to highlight. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight. I'm going to take my contour brush. I'm going to use the side of my contour brush. And I'm just going to pat and then blend. 
with gloss burgundy oh that sounds cute yeah i think burgundy will be dope so see the highlight burgundy okay cool we'll do a burgundy lip so i'm just going to tap so i use my brushes for multiple things so this is my contour brush it comes with an angle so i just use it to contour and now i'm using the side to highlight i was gonna say nude but burgundy might be better yeah i'm gonna do a burgundy i always do a nude i'm a nude kind of girl i already bought all the makeup products you recommended to me tomorrow the base arrives all right Michelin. all right so we just wanna yeah and i'm not gonna tell you to get anything that's not good because i know that things are not cheap especially makeup especially quality makeup so i definitely will not steer you wrong okay so i'm gonna take the same brush that i highlighted with this is actually an eyeshadow brush that you can use for your crease i'm going to use it to highlight my um the bridge of my nose and the tip but i also just use this to contour so you can use these brushes multiple ways coming soon so let me see chocolate brown combo all right so we i think burgundy's in the lead so okay let's, let's see so i'm just gonna take a little bit of this um this highlight i don't want too much of it because it's very strong and i'm just going to contour the contour i'm just gonna highlight right here i always highlight right there i said i was gonna put something oh okay i remember and now i'm just gonna take it and i'm gonna pat right here and this is what i do and then i always go in and I just make sure that I tap it into place. Because I like a little button nose, but not too much. And yes, I'm thinking about when I put all that highlight. I will forever think about that day. But um, yeah. <laughs> um, before I pop on my lashes, I'm going to go back into this highlighting palette. I put all the powder. Oh my God, all the powder. Okay, so I'm going to go back into this contour and highlighting palette. And I'm going to take this highlight. It's very pretty. So let me show you guys. It's so pretty and so just subtle. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna pop it in my inner corner just to have it pop. It's not gonna be too bright. Let me blend, let me show y'all. It's not gonna be too bright, but it's just going to give me like a little slight pop. And then I'm, I'm gonna use this on my brow bone. So you're just gonna tap it in and just pop that brow bone. So no pop, pop so pretty so we just want to tap it into place we're not even going to blend it just tap it into place and that's blending it on its own okay so now we're going to zoom back out i'm gonna pop my lashes on this is so pretty let me zoom y'all in to get it a light this is too pretty okay Come on, eyes. Come on, eyes. I'm going to pull them down a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a little bit more glue. Did y'all, do you, do you, do you do hair and makeup for strippers? I wish. Shell. I wish. But when it comes to New York, they too ruthless. I'm not fighting anybody to do makeup not fighting you and then they don't even want to pay you they want to pay you like thirty dollars who me no <laughs> i just yanked that lash off like diana what do you use to keep your lashes on oh um this is the glue from i envy let me see this is the i envy glue it's super what is it super stronghold it has the gold top. Oh, I think I have a new a new one. This is what it looks like. This is a new one. But um, this is oh, I I didn't try this one yet. So get the one with the gold top. They're literally the same thing. One just has a gold top and one has a pink top. This one is um super strong or whatever and this one is stronger so i'm not too sure i didn't try it yet oh i got it right here sorry okay so this is the one i'm using right now this is what it looks like i got this from my local beauty supply 
And I picked up the pink one because I just want to see how they work. How it works with my lashes. I haven't tried it yet. I used the glue too. I never saw that other one though. Yeah, it's new. So I just happened to pick it up. I still didn't open it yet. Because I still have a bunch of the gold glue. I love how the glow, the gold one you um stays on. So I'm assuming it says stronger than normal. So maybe the blue, the pink is like an extra strength. I'm not even sure. But I'm excited. Maybe I'll open it next week. I just had it in there and I'm not even like using it. Okay, so. And then I'm going to go under there and like fix it. Because I have like some glitter from the last time. But this is the eye look. So we're going to zoom in. <laughs> so that's the eye look. So we're going to pop on this lash. But yeah, the pink, I'm, I love pink. So I, it, I gravitated towards that one because it's pink and then it said new. So I was like, let me try it. But I think I'll pop, I'll open that up next week because I'll be going live all next week. So we'll see. So that's what I have. I'm going to go back in with some of my liquid sh um, eyelash, liquid eyelash glue. I'm going to go in with my liquid liner. And I'm just gonna go over this. Cause you know like when you reuse your lashes, the shadow falls onto it. And I hate to like have to Photoshop that. So why not fix it now? So I'm just gonna do that. We just gonna fix it, okay. You don't wanna go too crazy with this cause I have done that. And then I blink and it goes all over and I'm like really, really pissed. So no, we're not gonna do that. So we said burgundy, right? We said burgundy, so I'm gonna go in with this one. I'm gonna go in with this liner. This is my zero, zero 06 liner. And we're gonna line our lips. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So 06 is a pretty burgundy and they're very creamy. So we're gonna line our lips. And you know, we always do the inner corner. You know, try to get it right. And then we're gonna blend this here. I love these because they're very creamy. And I'm very, like, I'm a stickler. I don't like anything drying my lips out. So we're gonna do that. Let's see. Oh, should we do straight burgundy? Hmm, why not? I'm going to just fill it in. So look, I just filled it in all the way and I'm going to pop on some gloss. How do you feel about the liquid magnetic lashes? I want to try them. I don't want anything magnetic near my eyes. We already mess with the cell phone all the time. So I feel like magnetic lashes is just something that's unnecessary. I get it. It's really, really fast. Hey, Shade. I find that it's really, really fast to put them on. But I said, I said to myself, if you want to know lashes, I'm late. It's okay. I'll be back on again, girl. Don't worry. But yeah, um, and thank you for tuning in. I feel like if you want magnetic lashes, it's okay. But just learn to put them on, you know, it's okay. So I think I'm going to go in. Should I leave it like this or should I pop something else on? I don't know. For some reason, I want to pop something in the middle. That's cute. Let's, let's do Milan. I just want to add a little bit. Just a little bit, a little bit. I just want to mix the two. So this is my liquid lipstick in the um, color Milan. Just to add like a little depth. And they blend so well together. So that was Milan in number six. And then I'm going to pop some gloss on top. 
time I just pop my clear gloss on top. <coughs> and you're just gonna put it in the middle. And I think this is a look. Oh, I don't wanna sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Perfect match, perfect match to your eyes. I know. Oh, thank you. I was like, mm. I, I love the way the burgundy liner, like how it just sits. But something else was just calling my mind to just do something. So I did my number six liner. And then I did Milan on top. And then I added a clear gloss. So these are all coming to the site soon. I don't know when I'm launching them. But they are here, so... And I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of the liner. So pretty. So these are the lip combos. So let me show you an up close of the color. And then this is definitely nude. <laughs> and this is the burgundy. So pretty. I don't know what this hair is looking like, so I don't know. <laughs> Forgive your girl because I didn't do my hair. And I said I was going to get on here. Beautiful makeup, baby. I wish great. And oh, I, I wish great the best of the world. Love you. Oh, love you too, Michelin. Thank you. I've just been working and I'm just, I, I want to put out products that I love. I want to put out products that I can stand behind and that I can wear and not have any issue. So that's why I didn't really do lives too much. The beginning of november because i was really really just trying to work on the brand but now everything is coming together thank god everything is falling into place thank god so you know i'm happy about the relaunch i'm happy about what you know how they look how they blend how you know i can execute a look and not even think twice so i'm excited but let me see what this hair is looking like oh, okay it's not too bad <laughs> It's not too bad. Oh, it's not bad. So this is my little pony, my little style. It's to the side now, like an old lady. I'm silly. But this is what it's looking like. I did not redo it. I was going to curl it, but I didn't do it. So we just going, you know, we going to ride with it. This is what it's looking like. Honey, she said, honey, <laughs> thank you. So this is what it's looking like. I'm, I don't, I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay, so we gonna pop these out. We gonna pop these out. And you need to feel look, good for look. Don't pop them on. Thank you. Which one is silly? Beautiful, beautifully. No, beautiful contradiction. I love that name. It's, every time I see it, I'm like, that is a really pretty name. I like that. But this is the look. Let y'all see the shadow. I'm hot in the shadow. Thank you, Michelin. I'll be trying, y'all. I I literally come on here with no idea of what shadow to do. Today I knew I, I knew what colors I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do a halo eye. I knew the halo eye scared the hell out of me, but you know just do what you gotta do and don't get scared and you'll be good you go beautiful you are my inspiration oh thank you cheryl so yes i will be live black friday thank you the whole look is gorgeous thank you i appreciate it i'm gonna flood my time no i'm not gonna flood my timeline gorgeous thank you danielle but yes i'm gonna be live again black friday i'm gonna come back at six o'clock and do another look and then remember, next week, all week, at 6 p.m., I'm going to be coming live. I told y'all for my birthday week, I'm going to be going live every day. So I'm going to be going live every day. And I think I'm going to do a new lippy every day because I really want to do this nude for you guys. This is so pretty. And then this peach is so pretty. Oh, my God. And then I want to do a look with my chocolate lip. It's so pretty. Like, look how chocolate that is want to come on and do another look for you guys but this is the look 
And I thank you guys for spending some time with me. I truly appreciate you guys. And I was on for an hour and a half, so that's not bad. But I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until my next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.